Welcome to Japan, the home of some top quality beef. Here we got the mighty fine meat lovers selection. Everything from Japanese beef sukiyaki to raw beef sushi. It was an excellent backdrop to a life-changing meetup and personally I thought it was pretty nice. So you better grab a treat and you best be taking a seat because the show is about to begin. What's up everybody, Dustin here from Solo Travel Blog. Today I'm here with a kind-hearted man named Dave from a channel called Dave Trippin. And I'm here with an incredible woman named Akina. We're about to have some sukiyaki at a place called, what's the name again? Ginza Bakuro Ichidai. How are you feeling, Dave? Uh, I am as always ready to have a life-changing experience. Good to go. And how are you feeling, Akina? I feel very frisky. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. So we cruised around the mean streets of Ginza, Tokyo, going on the hunt for a little place I like to call Ginza Bakuro Ichidai. Now, as soon as we walked up to the restaurant signage, we could see that puppy was set against a waterfall. Suffice to say, we ain't in Kansas no more. Anyway, the maestro led us towards our seats and we started to realize this place was a tad ritzy. So we sat ourselves down, got us some beers, and started slamming those bad boys back. We were getting in the mood and feeling the groove, baby. Now being that we were on the 11th floor, we had us some pretty nice views of the Ginza skyline. In fact, those mighty fine views were getting us pretty excited, borderline aroused. It seemed like a good time to start scoping out that menu situation, so we started scouring that puppy to see what was good to eat. Now, we came here because we heard they got some good meat in this place, and lucky for us, the choices did not disappoint. They had a whole lot of meat in this place. They had meat for days and weeks. So we ordered ourselves some beef sukiyaki and some beef sushi. Now, while we were waiting for our main course, they brought us out some chow to munch down on. And I gotta be honest, I wasn't too sure about this mystery meat, but I figured I'd give it a go. So I dipped that puppy into some special sauce, then I got mentally prepared and jammed it down my throat. And whoa, baby, I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised. That meat looked like some kind of deranged salami, but it was actually quite nice. With that sauce, it was tasting kinda fruity and kinda tangy. Now they did also give each of us a tofu bowl, but I didn't have my heart set on some tofu, I had my heart set on some meat. I mean, don't get me wrong, I did give it a try, I just wasn't feeling it, can you blame me? Lucky for us, it was about this time that they brought out the raw beef sushi. And wow, just wow, look at that sushi, baby. That ain't your grandma's sushi course. That right there is a choice quality beef sushi course. Now, I was just about ready to start feverishly chowing down on a piece of that beef sushi when suddenly the maestro came out and brought us some sukiyaki fixins. So, we each got a tray of some noodles and veggies and we each got a tray of some top choice meat. Now, let me keep it 100 with you. I am by no means a raw beef expert, but even for me, it was obvious to see that right there was a nice plate of raw beef. So for the next step of our food adventure, we had to grease up that pan with some beef fat. After all, that puppy was smoking up a storm, so we had to remedy that situation pronto. And wow, that's some pretty nice sizzle action, if I do say so myself. Next up, we loaded on some pieces of beef and we got some veggies on deck and right about then, that sizzle action started going haywire. Nice. Next up, we poured a bit of that sukiyaki sauce in there to keep the whole thing all nice and hydrated like. And while that bad boy was simmering away, Dave thought it would be a pretty good idea to try himself a piece of that sushi. It seemed like a good idea to me too, considering the fact that he is in fact worth it. So he feverishly jammed that piece of sushi down his throat and the single word he could think of to describe that taste sensation was... 
Funny, I was thinking the same thing. So I got spiritually prepared to try a piece of beef sushi as well. After all, I knew within my heart of hearts that I too was worth it. So I gazed upon that sushi as if gazing upon the very meaning of life and then I slammed it down the hatch. And overall, I gotta say it was soft as hell, succulent to the max, and beef-tastic beyond belief. Anyway, after that, I wanted to move on to the next exciting phase of my life, a little thing I like to call sukiyaki. Believe it or not, you dip those grilled veggies and meat into a dish of raw egg, baby. Now, according to Akina, the way you can tell that an eggy wig is fresh as hell is you should be able to squeeze it between two chopsticks without the yolk breaking. That's a pretty fun factoid. Anyway, before you start eating your sukiyaki, you gotta mix your eggy wig up all nice and thorough, like. So after that was taken care of, I got myself a huge ass piece of beef and jammed it deep inside that raw eggy wig. Next up, I coated that bad boy with a whole lot of eggy wig. I wanted to get the maximal effect, baby. And after that puppy was dripping to the max, I figured it was high time to shove that mofo down my throat. And oh my dogs, that sweet soy saucy sukiyaki sauce, coupled with that silky smooth eggy wig and choice quality meat was a classic combo. The mini mushrooms and noodles, which were so good at soaking up that sukiyaki sauce, were also faves of mine as well. Anyway, you get the drill. Overall, it was an incredible chow fiesta and a life-changing meetup we won't soon forget. Oh, and by the way, if you want to get some legit intel about life in Japan, as well as seeing some buck wild Japanese food videos, then you best be checking out Dave's channel. It's called Dave Trippin' and I got that link in the description box. Also, shout out to Lane O'Brien, a generous patron supporter who sponsored this video and in some small way improved my life. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.